Welcome to Real Feels with Erica Hila. That was quite a trip. <laughs> Are you tripping? <laughs> Today on Real Feels, I wanted to give you some funny feels. We are going to be reevaluating this catalog from Holiday 2018. This catalog is a family owned company from 1926. Let's say hello to the Swiss colony. I saw this with an open mind and I like literally lost it. So I just want to just take you with me here on this like lovely ride. You open up the page and the first thing you see are like chocolate covered macadamia nuts. I don't even want to. Like I just I want to get to like the nitty gritty here. So you open it up and the first thing you see is like this top selling gift which is like this huge tray of like meats and cheeses with like a centerpiece of like cake balls you know like really that's a great way to mix up your meal with some cake balls with your meat sticks <laughs> i'm not even going to dignify now i remember these cookies because i used to eat these in my grandparents office when we would have nothing to eat and i was like starving to death and all we had in the back kitchen were like these cookies they're probably like stale from this catalog when you only have like one thing to eat okay and the only thing you have are these cookies trust me it's like mana when you're like waiting for food and you're waiting to be fed like these cookies will like feed you till you're full sugar rush anyone okay so those balls that we saw they were like these cookie bonbons okay <laughs> it says that these bonbons are great stocking stuffers <laughs> you can stuff these balls in your stocking this christmas they have this box of chocolates that you can customize for yourself like with these messages on here i don't know what's in them i don't there's no ingredients list on here people like first of all if you're gonna be giving like a catalog with cakes i want an ingredients list hello really preservative much i probably bet you so yes they have merry christmas here and you can spell out any message you want from like happy hanukkah to happy hanukkah like i literally spelled it out any which way i wanted to to just see if i could mix it up a bit you can even spell super califragilist expialidocious or docious expialiistic fragicali rupus but that'd be going a bit too far don't you think flip the page like i really 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 want an ingredients list from you is it even on your website do you even have a website because like that's where you like send out these catalogs right because you don't have a website right i imagine like do you remember like those like little debbie swiss rolls you know do you remember like those are like the, like the little chocolate ones that only come in like twos and like they were really good but only if you didn't like mush them in your bag on the way to school right okay because i was that one that like had the mushed ones it was horrible i mushed them whatever i've been mushed the bread okay don't even tell me that's why i stopped buying bread well besides the gluten but whatever it's a whole other story this has like a bunnies in a log like i can't even like contemplate how i would even want to eat this like for real first of all, we have like these three bunnies are you watching do you see the bunnies i mean i don't even know what's scarier the bunnies eating the bunnies or like getting cracked out off of eating the bunnies in the log like for real like who wants the bunny in this day and age it's not cute people that's like silence of the bunnies that's horrible ptsd just from reading this catalog great another box like seriously all these cakes and like it only took you like how many pages to get creative with chocolates like now they have stuffed chocolates with like candy crunch cookies and cream fudge mud and there's no ingredients list bring the family together great with logs and balls <laughs> seriously who are you who are you this is exactly why i had to bring this to your attention duh I'm like piercing you with the insert look right now. Yeah, uh, 43 seasons pleasers. First of all, there are not 43 seasons. Are you counting like all the seasons from like all the religions? I just want to know because I don't think 43 is enough. Number two, it's not even kosher if you want to be a holiday season person. Really? Really? Like really? <laughs> Creamy spreadables. Okay. Hello, nausea table for one. Hello. Mellow cheddar. Okay, your name's fine there. Stone ground mustard, okay. Herb garden, that's fine. Sweet hot mustard, fine. Then you lost me at smoked bacon, uh, and Swiss and bacon. Now, this has nothing to do with the fact that I'm like an anti-bacon person, okay? Like, what is this? Spreadables, what is it? And I can't even like pinch zoom the picture to read the ingredients that you put here, but it's quite a lot. Typically, if it's just sweet hot mustard and cheese, it should just be cheese and mustard, not like, one, two, three, four, five, six and a half lines worth of ingredients. That many ingredients in a spread not happening, honey bear. Not in my mouth. And I can even tell you that the reason why they have these spreadables for these like meat logs, okay, is to like mask the flavor. Why else would you give them a spreadable to dip their meat stick in their cheese log? Like really? <laughs> it's like having like protected oral sex. Well, what's the point? 
As lactose intolerant as I am, cheese is not highlighted as much as I'd like it to be in this catalog. And it's all the same. Bland cheddar. Bland cheddar. This really isn't much of a charcuterie option, if you really ask me. If you were to slice up these meats and add these cheeses, pieces of cake? Really? Cake and... Cake. Oh yeah. All-time favorites. Fun for the whole family. 79 pieces in this. I'm pretty sure there's like something in here for everyone that you must know. You might not eat any of this and somebody might gift this to you, but I'm pretty sure you can give away the majority of all of this stuff. Like starting with the cake balls in the center, for real. Like, do you know one person who would eat all of these things? Raise your hand if ew. Great, Santa's 77 favorites with balls in the center. Can't you just scatter the balls throughout like the entire setup? Like why do you have to have the balls? Like really? I don't even want to talk about it. Oh look, more dick. I mean sausage. <laughs> oh look, a healthy option in this catalog. Said nobody who can put it together. Pretzels and popcorn. Oh and look, it comes to, like a set of four little cakes. Aw, how cute. Still no ingredients list. <laughs> <laughs> How is any of this good for you? Like a whole thing of ham, seasoned pepper, hickory smoked bacon, breakfast links, sage sausage, and breakfast links. But you got like these apple cinnamon like fluffy pancakes for $40. <laughs> How is this so well balanced meal anyone? People! Literally the Swiss colony catalog, this should be called get fat, okay? It should not be called the Swiss colony. It should be called Get Fat. Really? The infamous fruit cake. First of all, it's not even worthy of a gay slur. It's not even colorful enough to be called a fruit cake. Okay? Really, Miss Claus must be really pissed off if she's doing the baking for this Christmas catalog. I gotta tell you. Okay, this is so bland. And it probably- I don't even want to talk about the flavor. You have a luscious lemon cheesecake and, uh, do you have some seltzer? Just the bottom layer of it does not look appealing. It does not look appetizing to me at all. One bit, not one bit. Like, could you imagine, like, if it molded? Can we move on? Thanks. This deep dish caramel, I can't even- I don't even want to talk about it. Hmm. How delightful. We do clothes now. So this is great if you're like trying to look like a teacher that's trying to look like Mrs. Claus or if you're Mrs. Claus trying to get out of a crazy marriage because you found out that your husband Mr. Santa Claus is cheating on you with the other elves that are making the toys. I finally get it. This catalog is pretty much meant to get you fat. That way they can fatten you up and make you wear their clothes. With personalized bracelets. <laughs> Even a vibrating foot massager for that extra sodium. They even sell pepper spray in case anyone's trying to get your ham. You can be like, bitch, get away. That's my ham. It's in here. They even have stockings so you can fill them with their balls. Baklava? Commercial interruptions over. We're back to the food. They interrupt the clothing with baklava and desserts. That's how they bring you back to the cozy vibes and the cozy feelings by showing you cozy clothes. And then after the cozy clothes, you get the cozy food, right? What else would go great with an ultra plush throw and booty kit other than some like great baklava and some like ultimate like assorted fruit trays, right? Like that's probably the healthiest thing they really do have here. If it's even real fruit. Is it even organic? Another ham. That's great. We just we want to bring you back to the fact that we're selling you meats here and meat products. The taste he craves. Is there something really wrong with this picture? Meat thick bonanza and you're a family company? <laughs> Please! Wild game meat sticks. The taste he craves. What man do you know will openly tell you that he likes meat sticks? Hey honey, will you order me some meat sticks? <laughs> There's something very gay about this and I have no problem telling you that because hello. They waited till like after the clothes to see if you like bought the clothes to sell you like the good cheese. Like the kind that you'd find at the deli like wrapped in like some waxy kind of plastic, you know? I'm still not interested in your meat stick cheese tray platter. Oh God. I felt my stomach turn. If you ever eat this, people, you can't complain if you get sick. Lobster delight or shrimp cocktail, shrimp scampi, crab delight, or smoked salmon incredible spreadables. Oh, really? Gag me with a spoon. Ah! I'm foaming at the mouth from the nausea. How does any of this remotely look attractively delicious? Or like at least delectable or edible? 12 varieties of candy in this festive gift tin. Don't get me the gift tin. 
toffee sampler okay your milk chocolate truffles i still want an ingredients list people like don't try to like bamboozle me with your pretty pictures like it doesn't matter is it even real what i'm eating here no why because it's probably fake obviously hello it's a catalog Duh. our very finest mixed nuts customer favorite so now you can get your meat sticks and your mixed nuts and your cheese squares and your meat logs all from the swiss colony or get fat <laughs> couldn't you just literally okay i just want to know something from you people on the swiss colony if you're watching i doubt you are but if you are i have a question for you right here where your merry christmas chocolate letters on page five gift number ac265 why can't you just like put below that also available in sugar-free which by the way if you're using aspartame i'm not interested okay i'm still not interested because i haven't seen a freaking ingredients list pardon my french there's no page here what is this, the appendix they have appendixes now apparently no it's page 45 from like five again 40 pages later what what is this like strategic or something here that you're doing here sugar-free merry christmas petite fours all the delicious flavor without the sugar includes chocolate, almond, vanilla, lemon flavored petite fours. You're really wasting paper and ink. You're literally making your job twice as hard on yourself because you could have literally in the same page that you provided the cookies and the cakes, sugar free. It's the holidays. Do you think people really want sugar free? I'm just saying. If you offered cane sugar, at least maybe as an option, who am I talking to? You know, in your whole entire catalog, you did not offer like a gingerbread house kit or like a make your own gingerbread house. What about coffee? What about like real whole fruit? Oh, I forgot. You're not Harry and David. That's a whole other catalog, people. You're not even from Swiss. You're from Wisconsin. Okay, what's Swiss about you? You're American. Hello? Really? Really? And so look. Oh. I can't even. And I don't even know what's more upsetting. The fact that they didn't even have any crossovers, like buy a onesie and you get a free box of chocolates. Like they didn't even cross them over. It was like strictly platonic here. Hello? Like that's just rude. And you're not even organic. Certification anyone and not you. Clearly. For everything else, there's a Swiss colony. What's in your mouth this holiday season? <laughs> I needed like a healthier alternative after like reading that. This is Erica Hila from Real Feels reminding you to keep it real and always feel. Till next time, we'll catch you on the feel side.